Country 99.5 Kicks Country with Shotgun Charlie Walker and a little bit of Steve Holy for you. Brand new girlfriend. Good morning to you. Hey, coming up, we got more chances for you to win school stuff, including some Kicks Ticks on the line in just a few. So get ready for that. In the studio, Miss Gretchen Quarterman, how you doing today? I'm very well. Good morning. Oh, we had a great Azalea Festival. I we, saw you out there. We did have a great Azalea Festival. A lot of people came. Now, let's talk about this, too, because... Uh, the, the Watershed Coalition, uh, something very deep uh, in your heart. The Wells Watershed Coalition is very deep in my heart, that's correct. The Suwannee Basin is a very special place and we need to take good care of it. Now so, uh, we have a lot going on with you guys, including uh, we got the 7th annual Big uh, Little River Paddle Race. Let's talk about that, that's happening pretty quickly here. And that is, that's our signature event, it's our 7th year. It's uh, at Reed Bingham, we uh -huh. paddle from uh, the Red Roberts Landing, which is the landing right above the park, and paddle down to uh, the lake. It's a 3 mile, mile paddle and the first place finisher wins $100. Uh, $100? $100. Our last <laughs> last year, our uh, first place winner was from Florida. Um, previously, our first place winner had always been somebody from the watershed. So this was the first time we had somebody from away um, come and win. It's a great family event. Uh, we have uh, all different kinds of categories. So you can be a single kayak man or woman, a tandem kayak man or woman, uh, two women, uh, two men, a canoe, a family. We've had families, dad with some kids, mom and dad and some kids. <laughs> um, you name it, we got it. it. It's a super family event. And then we have a little silent auction and a free lunch after. It's uh, $20 to register before April 1st and $30 after April 1st. So get your registration in. Mm -hmm. It's Saturday, April the 27th. Um, registration is either online, you can buy your tickets online, or you can buy them the day of the event. Uh -huh. We prefer that you buy them of course. Ahead. Of course. <laughs> and, and if you can't do that, you can even write a song about it, right? You can write about it, a song about it. Our songwriting contest, is, our second annual songwriting contest is coming up in August. Um, last year we had um, quite a lot of entries and the top six played at the Salty Snapper. We'll be at the Salty Snapper again. It's live music, live original songs, and you can... Um, Go to our website, walls.net, that's a W-W-A-L-S dot net, uh, to find information about how you can submit your song. Um, there's top prizes for that. There's prizes for inside the watershed. So if you're from in the Swanee Basin, you can win a prize. If you're outside the Swanee Basin, you can win a prize. And then there's a grand prize winner for that, too. Oh, now, now you guys are all over the place, too. You're just not here in Valboston. Oh, no. The Swanee Basin is uh, 10,000 square miles. Really? From Cordial to Cedar Key um, to Fargo. Uh, and, and Cordial, it starts there in Cordial. Yeah, the the top of the basin is up by Cordial. The the, the tributaries of the Alapaha and the Little River are up there. Okay, tell us what else. Oh, what else you guys are working on? Um, well, uh, let's see. We have coming up this weekend. We'll be at the Wild Azalea Festival in uh, High Springs. Uh huh. That's their equivalent to the Azalea Festival here in Valdosta. It's at the ballpark. We'll be there on Saturday. Uh -huh. So come down there. There's live music and lots of entertainment. And then we have, um, let's see, where's my list? Um, we're going to be paddling on the Alapaha. So we've been doing Alapaha Quest. Uh -huh. The Alapaha is a grade A river. Uh, it doesn't have any development, no dams, no uh, nothing interfering with the beauty of the wildness of the river. Uh -huh. We've been making an end of, an effort to paddle the entire river. So next weekend on the uh, 23rd, we'll be paddling from May Day to Statenville. So if you've never done that bit, it's a little bit longer. Um, it wouldn't be good for a first paddle, but um, if you're an experienced paddler, we'd love to have you come along with us. We paddle every full moon at Banks Lake at sunset. So if you want to see the sunset and a beautiful moonrise, come to Banks Lake, and those are on our calendar. Again, walls.net, and click the tab calendar tab, and you'll find out when those are. So that's uh, sort of what's coming up. Mm -hmm. And then <clears throat> with our friends from Paddle Georgia and the R Georgia River Network, that's an organization of which we belong to that organization. Uh -huh. They're going to be here with Paddle Georgia on um, June the 15th to the 21st. And they're going to paddle from Valdosta to Mayo, Florida. Good Lord. Seven days. It's catered. Um, you pay it one giant fee and then bring your kayak and your tent 
and they'll be camping at Grassy Pond and at the Christian Camp down in Florida. There's entertainment every night. There's speakers. Um, and you can find out more information at that at georgiarivers.org slash paddlegeorgia. And one of our partners with that is the Langdale Corporation. They're um, helping us to get them out uh -huh. um, and private property there mm -hmm. and storing the kayaks there overnight, which we really appreciate that partnership. Definitely, definitely. Well, y'all got a bunch. Uh, if anybody has any information, how do they get in contact with y'all again? Um, www.als.net, falls.net, or swanyriverkeeper.org. Sounds good. Always a pleasure, dear. Have yourself a blessed day. Thank you so much, you too. Coming back with more right here at 99.5 Kicks Country. He is the country music, what Kenny says he is. <laughs> Sounds good, dear. Oh. Hey, everyone. We almost here. Robert, listen.